Hello friends, welcome to Tech Freak. So friends, in the previous videos, we discussed all these functional interfaces in detail. So uh, we know that in a functional interface, we have a single abstract method, okay? But we can have multiple default methods and static methods. So today we will discuss all about these methods, okay? So let's open a predicate. So this is the predicate and we already discussed this predicate in detail. So as you can see, these all are the methods and this is the abstract method which we discussed earlier. So now we see all other methods. Okay. So as you can see, we have this end method, is equal method, negate method or method test we already discussed. So let's discuss all these methods about the predicate and then we will move to function and other interfaces. Okay. So let's discuss this is equal method. So as you can see, this is the is equal method. Okay. And returns a predicate the test if two arguments are equal according to the object dot equals method. So basically it is using the equals method of object class. So let's create example. Okay. And let's use the predicate. dot is equal okay and let's pass a string okay so now we can use the test method to test that the string is equal or not run this so as you can see the output is true because the both are strings are true so let's no remove the thing and now it's false so this way we can use this is equal method of predicate so now let's move to another method so the second method is this negate method so basically it's the opposite of predicate so if the true is come you can use negate to make it false So here we use a integer and check that it's greater than 10 or not. Okay. And let's pass 15. So the output should be true. So we can use negate to make it false. So let me use negate. Okay, now the output should be false. So this way you can use negate and as you can see, we use negate and test. So this is a method chaining. We can use various methods by using the dot. Okay, so method chaining is also available. So now let's see the other methods like this and and or. So and and not are used basically to, you know, combine two or more predicates. So let me create a predicate. Give it name as P1. And this will test that the string is greater than 10 or not. Okay. So So similarly, let me create one more. So here we create two predicates one test that the provided input is greater than 10 and second test the provider input is less than 20. So let's check the. So we can use and or similarly like p1 dot and p2 dot test okay so in this case let's pass some value so like 15 so now 15 is you know greater than 10 and less than 20 so output should be true and output is true so let's pass some other value like 
25 now this should be false okay so now both condition must be true then the true is come otherwise it comes false okay so this is end and if you use or then any of the one condition should be true and it will return true so this is obviously true let's pass 25 and this is also true because 25 is you know greater than 10 and in or condition any one can be true you can also use negate in this so like p1 dot p2 as like okay so let's use the negate so this is method chaining so now the output should be false and it is false so this way you can use and and or you can also create third predicate by combination of these so now you can use p3 directly here okay so this way you can use all the methods belonging to predicate we see and or negate and this equals so now these are the methods which belong to predicate so now let's move to functions okay we already discussed functions in detail in which we provide one input and the output is r so let's check the method in the functions So the abstract method is apply. We already see this in very much detail. So I will provide the link in the card so you can check out this apply method in detail. So let's see the other methods. Okay. So we have other methods like and then apply, compose, and identity. We already see this apply. So let's see this and then and compose. So let's create a function. So okay. So our function is like this and you can you know add the value like 10 okay so this is our function so let's create one more function for understanding the concept of and then and let's use the division by 2 okay so now let's understand the concept of and then so let's create one more function and now let's check the output okay so before seeing the outputs let's see the you know definition of this and then so return a compose function that first applies to the function to the input and then applies the after function of the result okay so this is and then so in this we are using function 1 and then function 2 so function 1 is for addition and function 2 is for division and we use the value 10 from left to right so 10 plus 10 20 and after that we use this 20 divided by 10 so the output should be 10 yes so the output should be 10 let's you know reverse this thing okay so in this as per this the function 2 is resolved first so 10 divided by 2 5 and after that function 1 then 5 plus 10 so the output should be 15 yes so let me change it one more time so this is basically the concept of and then so in and then first this is calculated and the result applies to function 2 so we have one more method which is compose compose is exactly opposite to this okay so in which return a compose function that first applies to the function of the input and then applies the after 
okay so previously we calculate from left to right now in compose we calculate from right to left okay so let me you know change this to compose okay so in compose first calculate this function to so the first division is happen so now 10 divided by 2 is 5 and after that this is calculated so 5 plus 10 15 so the output is 15 so this is the second method so i hope you are clear with both compose and then functions okay so first use from left to right and second use from right to left so accordingly the output is change so now we use this and then apply compose so this is the identity so identity is very simple it will return the same thing which you you know provide return a function that always return the input argument so this is very you know simple so let me just give the example for the same also So this is simple if you provide 10 it will return the 10 yeah you can also you know see the documentation of the same so as you can see in the documentation it returns t tends to t so which you provide it returns the same so in this video we discuss all the functions that are not abstract okay and we also see the method chaining so we use the method chaining for combination of two or more functions and predicates so if you have any questions then please comment below and please share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching